holy. Holy is the Lord Almighty, who was and is and is to come. I'll bless the Lord at all times. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. This is the day which the Lord has made. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all the theirs known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Glory be to God and the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, the Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. For the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Have mercy upon us and write all these your laws in our hearts. Hear the words of comfort our Savior Christ says to all who truly turn to him. Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Love the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him should not but have everlasting life. Let us confess our sins and penitence and faith. Family resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly kneeling upon our knees. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our deliberate fault. We have not sufficiently walked according to the mind of Christ. We have named the name of Christ, but have not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Mighty God, who, who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us continue in prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us your servant grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of eternal trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship you in unity. Keep us 
keep us, that we may evermore be defended from all adversities through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed yourself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and live and reign in the perfect unity of love. Hold us firm in this faith that we may know you in all your ways and evermore rejoice in your eternal glory, who are three persons in one God, now and forever. Grant, O Heavenly Father, that those who are about to be admitted into the full communion of your church by confirmation may be so strengthened by the gift of your Holy Spirit that they may ever be faithful to the vows which they shall make and serve you henceforth with singleness of purpose as true followers of your Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Old Testament reading is taken from Proverbs chapter 8, beginning from verse 22. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no mountains, abounding with water. Before the mountains were set to, before the hills was I brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest parts of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depths, when he established the clouds above, when he stretched above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep. When he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable parts of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. This is the word of God. The epistle F is taken from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children, by Jesus Christ himself, according to the good pleasures of his view, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, wherein he has abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his view, according to his good pleasure which he had proposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him, who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye had the word of God. The gospel of your salvation, 
in whom also after that ye believe. Ye be a sealed without Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance, unto the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of his name. This is the word of God. Holy Gospel is written the 14th chapter Gospel according to St. John begin the reading from verse 8 Philip said to him Lord show us the Father and it is sufficient for us Jesus said to him have I been in love with you so long and yet you don't know me Philip who has, has seen me has seen the father so how can you say to us the father do you not believe that I am the father and the father in me word that I speak to you I do not speak on my own authority but the father who dwells in me does the work believe in me that I am the father the father in me or else believe me for the sake of the work themselves. Those are surely, I say to you, he who believes in me, works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do. Thus I go to my Father, and whatsoever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may, may abide with you forever. Spirit of truth, whom the 
world cannot receive, but it's neither seen him, or nor, nor him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you, and will be in you. This is the gospel of Christ. We thank you, our Father and our God, for this beautiful day that you have made. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because today we celebrate you as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the unity in the Godhead. We praise and glorify you, Heavenly Father, because in the Kate Archdeaconry and in the Diocese of Lagos mainland, we are one. Thank you, Lord, for your children who will have the opportunity to reaffirm the vows that they had made at their baptism. Thank you because in the laying on of hands, they will be strengthened in the power of the Holy Spirit for work. Thank you because in the same power of the Holy Spirit, you will make them effective witnesses to the glory of your holy name. Grant, Heavenly Father, that in the words which shall now be spoken, in the words that shall be meditated upon, you will grant us your blessings from above. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please sit. Not only is today Holy Trinity Day, or Holy Trinity Sunday, today also is very important in the life of uh, Holy Trinity Church Ekate, because when we arrived, there was so much celebration going on eating and drinking, to which the bishop was not invited, which I don't know why that is, but perhaps the vicar decided that Kenny Bishop in Wawasi be. But lo and behold, I am here. So to show that I am not angry that I was not invited to the eating and the drinking and the merriment, let me start on behalf of the Diocese of Lagos Mainland to congratulate you members of Holy Trinity, Trinity Church Ikate on the 75th anniversary of the church. And we pray that your church will continue to grow stronger and stronger. And the grace to continue to be the mother church in Ikate, Ajikiri, the Lord will continue to provide for you. God so good, he has opened the windows of heaven today. And like we sing, there shall be showers of blessings. The Lord has blessed you. And the Lord will continue to bless you. And by extension, the blessing will uh, touch other churches in the Archdeaconry. And then by there, it will also come to the Diocese of Lagos, Mainland. Congratulations. Congratulations. 80th anniversary. And if you have any questions, you will you. And please remember to call the bishop for that one. You will need to know for this one. Like we let bygones be bygones, and we say, okay, it is well. So, congratulations, it is well with you in Jesus' name. And congratulations to our candidates in advance. Today, they have come forward to be confirmed. Um, and it is always good, and it is always good that before they have the confirmation, that the bishop can have the, a short opportunity to engage with them because I haven't met any one of them before. So I don't know, and I know that they know more than me. I always find that when I go for confirmation, the candidates always know more than me because it's an opportunity for me to refresh the knowledge that I have accumulated. So today is what? Today is what? Please, it's just for me and between me and them. We don't want uh, anybody like this. We don't want that way. We don't want. No, don't worry, sir. Thank you. Uh, what's to do, Jerry? Will you say it out quickly? Just quick, because I don't have plenty of time. Oh yeah. Trinity Sunday. This is Trinity Sunday. What is Trinity Sunday? Oh yeah. What's Trinity Sunday? Thank you. It's a Sunday whereby we remember the three persons in one God. 
Remember the three persons in one God. Thank you very much. Who are those three persons in one God? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Hey, well done. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Okay. Thank you very much in uh, creation. Okay. That is very good. But was he alone? Was God the Father alone when he created? Oh yeah, now. You are doing well already. Was God the Father alone when he created? Eh? Okay, thank you. I was answering the uh, Sorry, who? okay. Uh -huh. uh, he wasn't alone, according to John 1 1. According to John 1 1. John 1 1, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. So the Word, I was there from the beginning. And what St. John's Gospel was saying in 1 1 was that there was never a time that God did not have his reason. So he is right in the sense that God was not alone. God was there. And the word, when he's spoken, let there be, it is actually Jesus. And that is how John could tell those people the relationship between God and Jesus. And it's the same way in the gospel. Somebody came to, who came to Jesus and said, show us the father. Can you remember? In the gospel that was read, who? Philip, he said, show us the father. And what did God, what did Jesus say to him? Eh? Thank you. What did he say to him? To me, you have seen the father. I know, he did, he, he, something like that. But there was, he asked a question first. He asked a question first. Can you remember? He said, you have been with me all this time. And you are telling me you still don't know the father. Surely the father is in me and I am in the father. So God was not alone. Who else was there? Jesus was there. Whether we call him wisdom in Proverbs or we call him logos in St. John's Gospel. Who else was there? Let me go back to the ladies. Who else was there? We have said that when God created, that uh, he wasn't alone, that the, uh, the son was there or Jesus. Was. So who else was there? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Uh, okay. In Genesis chapter 1, where was, what was the Holy Spirit doing? Genesis chapter 1. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Genesis chapter 1. The Holy Spirit had gone out and he was playing. Where was he playing? Where was the Holy Spirit playing? Eh, uh, thank you. Eh, uh, not clergy wife. <laughs> uh, Mama Biji. Share in here. Oh, it is well. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. where, where, where was the Holy Spirit playing? You wanted to answer. Over the surface of the waters, uh, he was just enjoying himself. Uh -huh. There's a verse in Genesis that tells us that perhaps God was not alone. Genesis chapter 1. There's a sister there. There's a, who, uh, who, uh, uh -huh. He said, let us make man in our own image. Uh -huh. Let us make man in our own image. And then God did what? He made them. In the image of God, he made them. Who, were, who, were, who was those he wanted to make in his own image? Man. Man. He wanted to make man. Okay, let us even sum it up like he made uh, man in his own image. That man in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. In Genesis chapter 1, man is man and woman. He called them forth. It is in Genesis chapter 2 that we, man was doing, he was sleeping. And God did what? And then he took rib. And, 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 and. Somebody said that, how can you understand the Genesis that, yes, there was, everybody was there, the Holy Spirit was there. There's a reason why I'm going this way. Because later on, when Jesus was in the boat with his disciples, and he was fast asleep, something happened. What happened? He was in the boat with his disciples. They were just crossing the lake. And, and, what happened? There was a storm and the storm was about to do what capsize the boat so they went and woke jesus up and what did jesus say he said to the storm the waves be still and what did the disciples say what did they say who can remember what did the disciples say hmm? very quickly because of time see as i'm sweating like uh, well, very quickly, what did the disciples say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. 
the, when he said be still, and the waves and the everything came down, what did the disciples say? Truly, you are the son. Hey, my bad, Jerry, don't spoil him. Don't spoil him. They didn't know him as the son of God at that time. Um, they said, one manner of man is that he spoke to the wind and the winds obeyed him. Hey, there's a chorus. One manner of... Amen. Hallelujah. He made. Hallelujah. He made the. Hallelujah. He also calmed the storm. So they said, which kind of person is this? That even the wind and the waves do what? Obey him. But the answer is very simple. Not only did he make the lame to walk. Not merely did he make the blind to see. Not only did he raise Lazarus and this, um, the son of the widow and raise them from the dead. It's very easy. The answer is because he was there at creation. So he had power over the created order. He had power over the natural order because he was present at his creation. Simple answer. But, but at that time, they didn't know. So who is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? So that is the Trinity. How many of you do science? Who likes science? You like science? You do science. You have done science. You would have done it before. Let me just hear your voice. What's your name? Tyro. Sit down, sir. Queen Victoria. Tyro. You know Queen Victoria? Uh, tell us who Queen Victoria was. Mother of. Mm. Mother of Queen Elizabeth. Which Queen Elizabeth? No, I don't think the mother's name was Victoria. I don't think so. But there was a queen called uh, queen, uh, okay, Tanikin Bileri. Who should I ask? Talk to somebody. So I won't ask you. Who should I ask? She's laughing. Who should I ask? It's a chemistry question. Oh, yeah, now. Are you twins? Are you sisters? They are cousins. Let me come. I need to know. You look alike. Oh. Which church do you go to? Eh? Which church? What's the name of the vicar? Reverend Dr. Jude O'Wearing. Morocco. <laughs> O'Wearing. Reverend Dr. Jude O'Wearing. So, eh? Who, you said what? Ah. She said, what's the word? She said she's an Igbo girl, but she can't pronounce the name. Okay, do you know this auntie? Huh? You know her? Who is she? Huh? She's the vicar's wife. That's Mrs. O'Wearing. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, what's my own name? <laughs> um, I go. Wait now. Uh, Reverend Akin Ben. Reverend Akin Ben. Akin Ben Johnson. Akin Ben Johnson. Okay. When you want to drink tea and you plug the kettle, you pour Mary inside. Uh -huh. Okay. You pour that one inside, and the cotton, the water is boiling. Okay. What comes out? Um, it's vapor, water vapor. Or oh, steam. Okay. The steam that comes out from the kettle, the ice that you use to cool drinks, and the water that you drink, what is the chemical property of everything? Um, H2O. 
Thank you very much. H2O. <laughs> Only she doesn't know the name of Avika. So, the H2O is the chemical property of water. But H2O has revealed itself in three ways. First, in water, liquid. Then in ice. Then in vapor or steam. So, it is still H2O. The same way. We as Christians say God has revealed himself in three ways. As God the Father in creation, as God the Son in redemption. Auntie, give me two more redemption. I didn't see you. So you won't say that I didn't reckon with you. Do you understand redemption? Which one is your church? And this place. Church Bulletin Joseph. You don't hear Yoruba. What do you understand? Okay, which church do you worship in? And which one? What is the name of the church you worship in? Holy Trinity. Which one? Where is it? Where do you worship? In this place. Okay. What's the name of the vicar of this place? Okay, give me the name of the general overseer of Redeemed Christian Church of God. When did you're a new member? When did you join? Hmm? This year. You joined this year. Eh? I, okay, wait. Uh, okay, just first of all, what is the name of the GO of Redeemed Christian Church of God? Name the name of any GO that you know. I don't know. Don't know anyone. You don't know the name of your vicar? What's my own name? What's my own name? You don't know my name too? Oh, uh, I think my name is Bishop. <laughs> my name is not Bishop. Oh. <laughs> my name is not Bishop. Oh, wala wa. uh, So what do we do now? You don't know anything. What, what do you do now? Please, I hope you remember where the question got to because me, I don't remember again now. Eh? Eh? Redemption. Thank you. Please let me remember it. Okay. Say, what language do you speak? Isoko. You are from River State. Eh, so, what language do you speak? Is there any. Eh? Answer now. English. I didn't even hear that one. Okay. Let me help me. Just help me. Uh, just say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sins against us. 
and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Uh, I have a problem. Oh. I don't know what to do with her. Don't, eh? I don't know what to do with her because she's telling me she just joined. Abby? Uh -huh. And uh, this is a problem. If she has just joined, she doesn't know anything, then what am I doing? So, Mama, is your husband around? Where's your husband? Who, be, who belongs to her? Uh, who, where is her husband? He's in charge of the security. Is your husband a member of this church? Can somebody go and call him, please? Please, somebody call the husband. Okay, who can tell me what redemption is? 